Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? We got uh, the one and only Kerwit here. Yes, he's wearing a wig. Yes, he's got a hoodie on. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm not. Just yeah. So we, we're Skyping in Kerwit. Uh, and uh, here here we go. We're doing a modern cube draft. Only three out of eight players in the queue, though. So hopefully this bad boy fire. I can't imagine it does it with 2,400 active players. But <clears throat> today is the first day of Ikoria. So maybe if you want to play some Ikoria. But it's still modern cube. I don't know. Cube is a cube. I, I think a cube draft is always uh, more preferable to a, a regular draft. And I think the, if, if you think a regular draft is better, you're probably just banking on the newness of it rather than the actual merits of the of the cards and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? We don't get to mutate anything, though. That's true. That's true. But someday, maybe someday, you know, you gotta believe. Maybe they updated the modern cube already with some uh, Ikoria cards. Oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> that would be real quick. And they would have to change it like... I don't think that's possible. I think they don't, I don't think they can change it like mid-deployment. We got Cheon working overtime. Can you guys let me know if Kerbit's volume is okay? If if we if we're if we're similar in in levels. <coughs> Mutate. This, I am a mirror. You can tap me for mana. Mutate does seem like a big trap, but after playing it uh, all day yesterday in standard, it was surprisingly effective and uh, <clears throat> more so than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, it seems like creatures with hexproof are going to be like. Crazy premium. Oh uh, yeah, because <clears throat> when I was uh, mutating onto a paradise paradise druid, it was very very nice for the hexproof. Katie, my love, how are you? Has no one? Can no one tell us the volume level? Not one person in the chat can be like, yes, your volume is fine. No, Kerwood is too low. Who is Pretty this? Boy per- Floyd. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the name is in the title, guys. I said it was. I didn't even see. It. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Volume seems good. Volume's good. Okay, thank you. It's a little echoey because of Kerwitz. Kerwitz in like an uh, a small little room, and he has uh he's just using the webcam mic. So, guys, I told him I'm like, hey, listen, if you have the money to to buy fake wigs for for me thirty times a year, you can probably just get a, a, a nice mic. <clears throat> Kerwitz, what's the pick here, buddy? Oh man, what do we got here? The masochist in me wants to take Nib Mizzet Reborn. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. I'm down. Current, why didn't you build a full recording studio prior to the draft? <laughs> Her question is valid. So, uh, I'm lazy. That That's why. Uh, we're connected through Skype right now. So, this is the magic of the internet. Kerwin has a green screen. So, we just focus. I'm going to take Nib Mizzet because that was Kerwin's suggestion. But I do think we have to prioritize lands or things like Golos pretty high. Yeah. So, hmm. What do you think? Windswept Wind... Heath or yeah. Golos. City like... of Brass could be good too, except for the one damage. I hate the... I just hate him. I think there's like I'd rather just take Windswept Heath, you know? Yeah, that seems reasonable. I want to take Windswept Heath. Oh, Flooded Strand. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, are we just Niv Mizzeting? We're just total five color Niv Mizzeting here. YOLO. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Shambling Vent. Cyclonic Rift isn't bad. Simulacrum. Oh. Because we have Niv Mizzet, we do want to take two color cards as well. Let's remember that. Yeah, Simulacrum That's actually true. seems great here. That's a good choice. I actually forgot that that guy did that. I was like, oh, Simulacrum. Yeah. Am I, am I pink mic now? Yeah, you're uh, you're De- Deborah Harry Mike. Hmm. I mean, of all the mics, I could be pink Mike. Seems like the best one. <laughs> your your waifu mic. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> can I put the chat on the other side? Yeah, I can move the chat. Let me do this. Oh wait, is chat wait? Oh, because he's looking. Uh, he's he's looking. It makes him look at the different way. <clears throat> no lands. I probably just take spellcaller just because it's or kitchen finks actually. Hmm. I think I like kitchen finks better than spellcaller. I don't know. I'm gonna take Kitchen Finks. Katie said Kitchen Finks. Katie's right. Katie's Always. what I, Katie's what I default to when I don't when I'm when I'm divided on a card, because most of the time she'll always say she'll always say Cryptic Command, so that's usually a. Oh, this is interesting. So we got Abrupt Decay and Anguish Done Making in terms of Nim We also have Hollowed Fount. I think it's Hollowed Fountain. We can search yeah, for it with both. Yeah, we already got the uh, Filleted Strand. And, and well, it gets a Windswept Heath too, so. 
What are you going? The more I look at Finks, the more Finks sounds like a slur. <laughs> oh, I mean, there is like, I mean, people, I mean, Finks is like a Fink is a, is not a, it's not a complimentary term. You Fink? Yeah, exactly. Like a rat Fink, you know, like that's a, that's a forcing five color. This isn't forcing. It's just coming naturally. <clears throat> oh hinterland harbor that seems good i like a good hinterland harbor you do like a good hinterland harbor oh badger what up my dude good oh, morning sweet. also this is uh, we got we got our band colors online right now we just need some red and black i guess uh-huh. <laughs> i have the vapors <laughs> <laughs> oh man Badger, how you holding up over there, man? I don't actually know how coronavirus is hitting Australia. So I'm very tired and very hungover. All right, well, I guess you're, I guess you're doing okay. See, now chat's gonna find out that I'm super boring. Um, I I think based on your yeah, but see, that's the thing. Like, you make it sound like this is who you really are, as opposed to the person in chat, which is also who you really are. So, like, if you're not boring in chat, then you're not boring, right? Like, that's it's not like one of these is the real you and the other is, like, some act you put on. Uh, Gamma said, this is a uh, boring mic. This is boring mic. I'm going to take I'm gonna take this Teferi. Yeah, do you think we should... Because uh, this... Yeah, I guess Clifftop's not that great. I also just want to make sure we have enough cards to actually hit with Niv-Mizzet, you know? Sure. Plus, Teferi is just so un- unbelievably miserable to play against. So, maybe we can... If we can just impart some of that misery onto other people. Yeah. That's really all I want to do. Paid actor. Yeah, I, Am I a paid actor, Frank? I... This is not uh, an area we should go into on, on stream. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Sorry, guys. This is not... It's, uh... There's confidentiality agreements and whatnot, so it's just not appropriate. Yeah. What are you thinking here? Wandering Fumarole or Rakdos's Return? Uh, probably one or two more. Do we yeah. have much red fixing yet? Uh, by by much we have zero, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. Oh, the Golos came back. Yolo. Oh wow, we're living the dream, dude. We're Goloing. Uh, I like Vivian Reed. Does she get lands? She does get lands actually, which Very is good. super relevant. Did Kerwick bring dollar bills? He can drop in front of the camera every time that happens. <laughs> I wonder if I do. God. Yeah, I was going to say to him, I was like, hey, man, you know, the one downfall of you streaming with me is that, like, who's going to pick up the slack in the chat? That's uh, true. Settle the Wreckage, Mirren Crusader. None of these cards are super exciting, but... I mean, Settle's probably good. We're probably playing a more dirtily deck. Like Two Exodus. Sword. Side effects from Kerwick could include uh, drowsiness. <laughs> Okay, this stream, this entire stream can't be about how boring you think you are. Sure it can. Oh, well, in my face, I guess. I don't know, I guess careful. Cons- eh, maybe engineered explosives, we got five yeah, colors. Yeah, yeah. We blow stuff up. <clears throat> I do like blowing stuff up. What are you gonna do? I think of Terramander, whatever, that's not exciting. Eh, this is oh. playable. All right, we got <clears throat> five lands here. That's not bad. <clears throat> um, just marsh flats. Yeah. I hate I hate Razor Verge and Black Cleave Cliffs. I think marsh flats is obviously the superior. It also still gets a uh, hollowed fountain, which is nice. If we were playing that uh, Ikoria, we could take Shadow Spear. Uh, uh, what? Why? To get rid of uh, X proof and indestructible. <laughs> I don't know if it's that. One, force the name Sakura Mike Buck. Why is he called Sakura Mike? Oh, is it because of his hair? Oh, that's, see, that's funny. That's solid. Could be because of the Japan, too. Money. Oh, Andrew, one picking up the slack bug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, t- is this Ashiok good? Uh, I like this Ashiok, but I do also like Overgrown and Steam Vents, too. Steam Vent sounds good. Steam Vent does sound good. We don't have any black fixing, though. You we do have Steam Vents. Thank I you. I know. Oh, Badger with the twenty gifted subs. I guess that'll do. Oh, dip. Badger gives <laughs> every day. Badger, you're like, you know Thank what? You. It's twenty sub time. 
Every day and, I wake and, up and I, I realize I'm always in Badger Shadow. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, trust me. Most people are, are in the in the in terms of the uh, donation bracket are in Badger. Six hundred and twenty one <laughs> gifted subs. That's not real, right? Damn. I don't even know how that's a real number. Like I, I didn't. Even, I, I don't even understand it. Like it's actually. Thank you. I think it's just Wait. is it charm. <clears throat> is it? Or exactly. Fabled passage. Oh, fabled passage is decent too. <clears throat> or Sunlance for the guy. <clears throat> What was this? Su that. Did you say Sunlance? Hmm. For the Godams. It's, it's aggressive. For the Godams, he says. Thank you. <clears throat> Somebody said no. Mimic? <clears throat> My throat is real scratchy right now. I apologize, guys. Yeah, all right. We'll take Field Passage. I don't think... I wasn't... Ex oh, oh, here's a three-mana Ashiok. Oh, we're taking that one. That seems like a good one. It also take seems... Take Caster Mage. Ideally, Thank this Nahiri comes back. Oh, Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, Karaksa, too. Oh, man. That's exciting. Badger, dude. Thank you so much, man. You are a ridiculous... Less than 400 to go. Badger <laughs> wants that thousand gifted sub badge. Who am Today's I to get in his way? Who am I to get in his way? Thank you. Croxa seems pretty more entertaining. Croxa does seem more entertaining. Oh, God. Thank you. It is tough to emerge. Maybe it's not tough to emerge. I'm taking it. YOLO! Bloodstained Mire? Thank Jeez, you. we're getting all the fetches, man. Also a Temple Garden. I think yeah. I just take the Bloodstain Mire. Kind of want that Elish Norn. Thank no, you, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the Mire, and we're seeing every fetch land, we, every every shock land we can get. Thank you. Like fun. What are you gonna do? Thank you. Not much else to do at four in the morning other than gifting subs. Well, some people try to sleep, but That's I know right, it's true. Thank you. Inspiring Vantage is the unexciting card. We could go for Looter. <laughs> I guess we could. Thank nah, let's just do Vantage. That's so unexciting, though. Yeah, we... and we do only have ten cards so far. I Yeah, that's Thank where I'm you. leaning to. I'll just take a Looter. Old Looty Boy. Old Looty Tootie. Thank you. <clears throat> Old Lutso Toots. RPG Badger, do not sleep. I think he definitely has trouble sleeping. That's unfortunate. Sleep's my jam. I like sleeping. I just... I also have, like... <clears throat> like, I'll sleep for, like, four or five hours, and then my body will be like, you're done. Time to go to the bathroom. After the, Yeah, after those three REM cycles, it's like, nah, we good. Mm. No bueno. Yeah, I agree. I started taking melatonin every so often. Oh, Boros. Oh, Dream Trawler. Let's take this Dream Trawler. The Dream Trawler? I want the... the is, let's see. We can see if the Dream Trawler is real. We do have a good bit of white fixing, I think. I mean, I feel like most of our fixing is white. Here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five sources of white fixing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> sources of blue fixing are pretty good, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Companion isn't working? What's not working? Someone said that in Companion is <laughs> not working on the new Ikoria stuff. On Magic Online or on Arena? Arena. I'm going to take Black Cleave Cliffs. What about that Bomat Courier? <laughs> <laughs> the Overgrown Tomb came back? Oh, man. We took Steam Vents over this thing. And now Windswept Heath and Marsh Flats get this. And Bloodstain Mire. Oh, wow. That's, that's beautiful. Booyah. That wasn't even close. We didn't take Signet because we want to actually have gold cards to hit. And right now we only have like five. Croxa, Teferi, Ashiok, Kitchen Finks, and Dream Trawler. So. What do you think is going to win it for us? Uh, I'm going to take this Vizier Many Faces. How do you feel about that? Sounds good. Okay. Um, What do I think is going to win it? I don't know. Hopefully Dream Trawler. That card's very good. Oh, Soren. I hate this Soren, but it's still a Soren. Or we could take Sahili. Is there any, like, if we use the bounce ability for Sahili, are we getting anything? The bounce ability? Can't she, like, or I guess it's not really she, a bounce she, ability. She caught the, the copy the ability. Token. Um, not really. Oh, we can copy, copy a Golos, actually, which is kind of funny. But also, if we open Felidar Sovereign and pack four, then we just get a... <clears throat> I'm going to take face fetters. <laughs> you know, somehow... We don't have any one drops, though. The Temple Garden came back? Oh my god, our mana is like insane, dude. 
But also, like I was saying, if we open Felidar Guardian, we can just combo. Ooh, Stomping Ground, Celestia Signet. This deck seems sweet right now. Yeah. Look at our fixing, dude. It's How many... totally fixed. We have 12 lands. <laughs> dude, I hope that Nimble Instructionist comes back. There's nothing better than countering activated abilities. <laughs> well, I mean, especially if they like try to crack a fetch land or something. Gotcha. Or they ultimate their Planeswalker, and you're like, no, don't do that. What do you think, Signet? Or, yeah, or Signet Stomping Ground? Hmm. Or Mystic? Stoneforge Mystic? No, 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 the other Mystic. Oh, Elvish Mystic? I don't know if we, I don't know if I want to dedicate to green, though, because... Mystic, please, for the love of... Oh, my God. You gotta give it to Badger. I know, but Wait, it's which like... Which Mystic does he want, though? But what are our odds of having, like, green on turn one is the problem, you know? But still, man, he just got you, like, 20 subs. I know. All right, I'm taking it from Badger. It's not... No. No? Wait, no? Don't take it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I'm just taking the Signet, because I think we have enough okay, lands to, to grab. What up, TPO3? Oh, my God. There's two more fetch lands in this pack. Jesus. We got a Misty or an Arid Mesa. Let's actually sort these... With I feel like our blue and green fixing could be better. Let's figure it out. Let's get to the bottom of this. These are our fetches. And Misty gets Overgrown, Steam Vents, Temple Garden, Hollow Fountain. Gets four. Arid Mesa gets Steam Vents, Temple, Hollow Fountain. Gets three. So Misty's just better here. Cool. And then maybe that Temporal Mastery will come back. Oh, Blood Crypt. Blood Crypt seems good. Blood Crypt does seem good. Do we have enough fixing to play Mass Manipulation? Uh, it's ambitious. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Playables is probably good. I mean, I would probably take Expansion Explosion just because it goes on theme, you know? Yeah, I'm down with that. Let's take that. All right. Uh, oh, another Signet. <clears throat> Got any... guy. You... <laughs> Why do you keep naming these one drops? <laughs> Elvish Mystic. Uh Clarion could have been good actually. Um It's just the Zorius Signet. Yeah, Zorius Signet sounds good. I mean Deafening Clarion actually is fine. I actually kinda like Deafening Clarion. Three damage to each creature? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Verdant Catacomb? What is no one taking mana in this in this queue? I don't understand. We should take Obliterator. We should take Dromoka's Command, probably. <laughs> We're not taking... What do we got? Overgrown Tomb, Temple Garden. I think those are the only ones that... No one would see it coming. We're going to put the non-fetchables over here. Okay, so these are our... Sh I think we have more of a, an importance on, on fetch lands rather than... Or on uh, shock lands rather than fetch lands. I'm going to take Dromoka's Command because it just fits our... Colonnade is nice. Gruel Signet's nice. Hmm. Glorybringer? I do actually like Glorybringer a lot. We do need playables. <clears throat> like, Gruul Signet counts as a playable, right? Does it, though? I don't know. Do we have enough red for Glorybringer? We only have, like, three sources of, four sources of red fixing here. I have the Fable Passage. I guess that's true. Well, we've got 19 seconds to consider it. Hmm. We could take Student of Warfare. God, I wish there were no no more one drops in these packs. <laughs> I actually kind of like Signet though, just because it ramps into Solemn, which ramps into Golos. All right, fine, take you it. You take Signet? All right. Yeah, I mean you don't clearly, but oh, Garrick seems great. That's a nice big fat win condition with like a. Uh, it also gets we can find it with Nim Visit. <clears throat> take hot. Okay, well, I'm gonna take the. <laughs> I'm, gonna... I'm not taking the opt, my dude. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse. You like Maelstrom Pulse? Maelstrom Pulse is good. I mean, Thunder I'm just Ma's not bad. I'm trying to max. What did you say? What else is not bad? Thunder Ma. Well, there's no one drops. Well, Banefire is kind of like a one drop, right? Or Mull Drifter. I like I like Mull Drifter better than Thunder Ma, to be honest. But I don't think we need it. Like. Or Jace. <laughs> I'm trying to not have all these double. Oh, the Nimble Instructionist came back. Can we, can we take it? Yeah, for sure. You wanted to take it. I'm on board. Sweet. I like Pulse. Nice. 
Oh, Temple Katie, Mastery. I didn't even see you said Glorybringer. Dang it. See, oh. she says Glorybringer and you would have taken it. Well, but when I say Glorybringer... Well, you know, the different... There's a, I don't know, there's a difference in our <laughs> relationships, I think. All right, we'll take Temporal and put it over here for now. Eh. Finale? Sure. <laughs> uh, uh. A Regent? What if Master Wave seems real good against the red decks, right? Like, it's just a good cyborg card. Yeah, sure. We we don't yeah, have we actually that. have a decent amount of like blue pips. Or Dato Vanguard. Azorius Signet came back. Don't threaten Inspector. Okay, all right, we're done. I need to kiss him more often. N no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take this last pick, Celestial Colonnade, because that's weird. Oh, man, with all the one-drops you suggested, we got a last pick Ranger of Eos. That's on brand. We need one cut here. If we're going to play all three Signets. <clears throat> Do we have 14 Fixing Lands? We get we, get, we have room for, like, three basics. Basics. That's so basic. <laughs> Which is actually not great because we do have we might actually want to cut something like Fabled Passage. Because we might actually run out of things to find. Which is definitely a thing that has happened to me before. Um, things to search for over here. Because we also have Psalm Simulacra that needs to get a basic. Because we only have four we only have four shock lands. <clears throat> which means we'd have seven uh things to fetch. I'd rather just cut the... Hmm. Cut it. What? The cut it like a fish. The... <laughs> See, that's... I feel like that's hurtful to fish, though, you know? They know what's up. So that... <laughs> they knew the agreement we had. All right, let me actually... Let me see if I can go through this mana base and see what we got right now. What are we taking out? Are we taking out Fight with Fire? You got, like, something over the quarter <laughs> of everything. Which one is Fight with Fire? Is that the one that does three damage to everything? <clears throat> Well, fight with fire is one deals five damage. Uh, this is to, fight with fire. To a creature. Yeah, but if you pay, if you if you kick it for nine, uh, it deals ten damage divided any way you choose among any number of targets. So. Are we are we getting to nine? Um, uh, we have Golos, Simulacrum, three Signets. It's very possible. Okay. I think Engineer Explosive should be in the deck. We can easily hit it for five. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I just think it's hard. I've always thought it was hard to engineer situations with engineer explosives in limited uh, where you're not killing your own things. <clears throat> just got a text message from Adidas. Oh, yeah? Is it telling you about the uh, the power slides? No. Oh. Fortunately, because I don't want those. I don't either, but I got like three emails from them today. What do you think uh, of the linens? Uh, I actually, I got into the, uh, the, the lottery for them. Oh, God. I mean, I kind of like them, but I don't think Katie would. Katie, can you tell me what you think of these linens? These these easy 350 linens? Did you see the new ones? <laughs> Did you see the new ones that are coming out in, uh, like, June? I forgot the name, but they look, they look banging. They're, like, blue and gray. No, I don't think so. I'll show you. I'll show you a picture later. Once we figure so, out this man. Not a huge fan. Okay, I wasn't either, but I wanted to make sure. Because if you were like, man, I love him, I'd be like, alright, I'll see what I can. I'll, see. I'll try to pick him up. Alright, hold on. I kind of um, like him because they got like a weird... No, go ahead. Katie, you can assault me all you want. I, no, yeah. I, I think Kerwin and, Kerwin and I definitely have different have different shoe styles, but I don't think either one is wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they have like a, a pinkish shoe to them, which I kind of like. They do, and actually, then, yeah. It's like a, it's the, like I would say salmon. It's like a salmon you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the stripe is like gray, which I'm a big fan of. And whenever I they, think add, it's reflective. That I was just gonna say, whenever they add like three M reflective in like random places, I'm always like, oh yes, that's what I want. All right, let me take a white. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six sources of white. Plus signets are two. Uh, for blue, we have one, two, three, four. I guess. Actually, did I not count Misty? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, I did. Blue, we have one, two, three, four. Does Marsh Flats get a blue? No. So, one, two, three, four, five. 
Yes, it does. It you gets and, you and your crazy land calculus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I'm just trying to count how many sources we have. It's not that hard. I right, think got black. We have one. Two freewheeling. Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, and no signets. No signet help whatsoever. Katie, have you not like made Frank do like a joint stream with you playing uh, Animal Crossing and him sitting in the corner yet? Katie cannot. Katie's internet cannot handle this. Otherwise, we'd probably be streaming more regularly. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah, it's rough. Her internet's just terrible. Um. Okay, so red, we have one, two, three. Yeah, I told her like the first thing we do when we get our place is like upgrade the internet like like crazy. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, I don't think I counted that for blue. Good lord, I'm an idiot. This is really hard, guys. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where did I get nine from for blue? It's eight. Okay, I miscounted anyway. Red, we have one, two, three. You want me four. to sing a song for you? What no. song do you want me to sing? <laughs> five. <clears throat> Five red and then one for the signet. And then green we have one, uh, two, three, four. Whatever five, you, whatever six, I know the lyrics do, your seven, choice. Eight. All right. So as Bye. Frank and all the rest of the people know, I love me some Japan. Um, and <laughs> oh, man. Karaoke in Tokyo is one of my favorite things of all time. So I do do a lot of karaoke. Got Wi-Fi before I got a bed in my new apartment. Yeah, I feel like uh, Wi-Fi, like if there's no Wi-Fi in the apartment, there's no reason to live there. I agree with you, in, in 2020 especially. Like, like uh, my one of my friends, he was moving out of his apartment in New York, and I was like helping him move. And literally the last thing in his apartment was the cable <laughs> Well, yeah, because I feel like I need that every day, like for work, for communication, like just to be connected to other human beings. All right, so uh, some karaoke. Uh, what, what should I sing, Frank? How about well, uh... here? This is the this is the show I was talking about. It's called the Israel Phil, and it comes out in June. I can't see that. It's just a gray block. Oh, you're right. Dang it. Here, I'll send it to you. Because then you can then you can look at it at your leisure. My leisure. Katie, let me know what you think of these while I fix this mana base. I like that. I like this one a lot. Yeah, this one seems real sick. Where'd you send it? Uh, Facebook. Oh, okay. It didn't. I can actually pull the image up. It just gave me a. Ooh, it yeah, gave me the I link. Like yeah, I, I didn't send the. I didn't send the thing. All right. So we, we have room for what? Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Four basic lands. Uh, six sources of red. I'd say at least one red. <clears throat> uh, six sources of black, probably one black. Uh, one white, maybe a second red. Frank, you want to do an in the garage duet? Well, depends on if you have Dungeon Master's Guide. Oh, I got a Dungeon Master's Guide. Do you have 12 sided die? I do. What about Kitty Pride? Yes. And Nightcrawler 2? Waiting here for you. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> sing sing Rat Train. Oh, man. Rat Train's a classic, guys. Coming on down to Rat Train. Uh, it's Send Them On Down. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. It's this the remix, what... Frank. The remix. <laughs> I've taken creative liberties. Uh, all right, so we can either do two red or two white here. Or we can just play 16 lands with triple signet. All right, no beats. I got you. Here we go. Well, I got a twelve-sided die. I got Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler too, waiting there for you. Yes, I do. Do I have that? Was just for you. We need one more basic. For me? Oh, for no beats. Gotcha. No, gotcha. it was for no beats. I gotcha. I've got posters on the wall. It's like he doesn't even watch the stream. <laughs> Send them on down to Rat Train. I don't watch the stream. I just turn it on in the background and then I go do something else. The red train. It's I true. I just need the uh, soothing sound of Frank's voice somewhere in the apartment. I appreciate that, though. I'm, I'm still good with that. Um, 
I kind of want another basic just to be able to figure out what to search for. <sighs> Shut up and take my money. Oh, I bet it's some kind of crazy dollar. Thank you for singing, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, we have a lot of black. I'll just add one. Oh, no, we got we need blue or a white. Probably a white. No, we got white. Green? I don't know. I'll just say green. All right, we're gonna play like this. We're gonna do forty-one here. You gotta do forty-one. <clears throat> Me too, Carwit. Me too. Dang. Why don't I just be on the radio, guys? I feel like I want to buy, like, one of those crazy, like, voice expander boxes and all, like, the weird audio junk that, like, radios use to make your voice sound all super, like, radio-y. Oh, God, hold on. I have to take a picture of this. Katie told me to take a picture and I forgot. Uh, okay. Wait, what are you taking a picture of? I'm taking a picture of our, our mana base so I know what to search for. Oh. I'll take a picture of the whole deck. Look at her helping you out. I know. That's how she do. <coughs> All right, let me actually move these guys, and we're just going to put searchable lands over here. Just so I don't... Okay. Eight searchable lands, four basics, four fetches. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I've got posters on the wall. So I was just chatting with my boss. I'm like, hey, I'm streaming right now on Twitch. And he's like, buddy, you work for Mixer. <laughs> no, I didn't. And then I was like, I should just post this to everybody at work so they can come watch. And then I remembered that, like, only our team was given the day off. And I was like, I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like I've played four color control for a long time. Wow, humble brags, Katie. Humble brags. <sighs> All right, if you got any Kerwick questions, now is the time to ask them. Yeah. Or forever hold your peace. Your piece of the pie. You know, pie is delicious. Buddy, you ain't <clears throat> you ain't kidding. There's this place that sells cookies around here called Crumble Cookies and they're fucking huh. delicious, dude. They're they're so rich that like me and Mike couldn't even finish one cookie each. Uh we were like, "All right, that's it. I'm going to tap out. I'm going to mulligan this hand." Um, but we were going to order some last night. We were going to order some last night, but then we were like, no, nah, I'm just too tired. Let's see. What do I do? I am a software engineer and I work on Mixer. How do magnets work? How many beans can you fit in your mouth? What kind of beans are we talking about? Miracles, that's how. Um, probably like black beans. Where do you and Frank Lepore shop for your matching black shirts? I couldn't uh, see. I got mine on uh, StockX. <laughs> Did you see that StockX is adding a 3% processing fee? Yeah, I saw that. I was like, this is some bullshit, dude. 3% is a good amount. <clears throat> I was I was upset. RPG Badger, I don't really know a lot about how magnets work. I just think that we're going to get overgrown with this and steam vents with this, and then let's play Croxa. Boom. Boom overgrown into steamy boy and then we have four colors and we have signet for white if we need it how many classic bushes <laughs> all American beans can i get in my mouth hmm. <laughs> you know these are the hard-hitting questions that we really got to ask ourselves i imagine probably about three quarters of a can <clears throat> i wish i could i wish my throat wasn't so scratchy guys i've got scratchy throat all day actually i probably just want to play a signet here right i don't want to be let's not go crazy Azorius. <clears throat> if we had an Atlanta, we can solemn sing like her. <clears throat> okay, I was gonna. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat is terrible, guys. I was gonna order McDonald's on DoorDash, but you can't order sauces. What? Text your driver and be like, yo, I need one cup of buffalo. Oh, I think Kerwood froze. Okay, I think he's back. Your voice was chopping up on me. Are you still there? No, I left. Okay, cool. I'll see you later. It, it was probably at my outrage that Katie couldn't get sauces with her McDonald's. I understand. I, I, could, I could feel that. Like, the sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's is probably the greatest sauce ever made. Got a gilded goose. Well, they're playing five color too. Is the five color mirror match? <clears throat> like, <clears throat> K, 
Katie, I think if you order some nuts, oh you can get like uh, some sauce. Need a land. Oh, that's not a land. Okay, well. But it is Niv Mizzet. Yeah, it sure is. We could play this Gilded Goose, and that kind of gives us a land at some point. Super Fritz 88, you mean like Raisin Canes? I've eaten there like one time. Because uh, I don't go to the south very often. I, feel like I do remember the liking same deck it. Here. I've got biscuits on the wall. Isn't cane sauce the same as like Zaxby's sauce? Isn't it just regular fry sauce? I'm not a big fan of fry sauce, to be honest with you guys. Well, you're in Utah now, so you better like it. Is, is that... I don't... I don't think it's... I don't think it's that prevalent here. What? Fry sauce? Oh, they loved fry sauce. <clears throat> oh, they loved it. Look at them eat their fry sauce. They love it. Actually, if we hit any any land, we could probably play Niv Mizzet somehow. Okay, oh. well, that's it's it's just just kidding. It's just gonna be a signet. You're playing against an asteroid. Are you like uh, bebopping over there? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Get it together, gonna, Frank. I'm just gonna face fetters here. I don't need to take me. Taking a 15,000 damage from that thing. And any land lets us play Niv Mizzet, I'm pretty sure. So I remember the first time I moved to Utah, and I went to a Taco Bell, and they had tater tots. Katie, that is, you're ex literally describing my experience with every food place ever. I'm like, ooh, free delivery. And then I'm like, oh, it's got to be a $15 minimum. And then I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just get $15, and I'll just have leftovers or whatever for tomorrow. And then I'll get it, and then we'll get to the checkout screen, and it's like... No delivery free, but five dollar convenience fee and uh, four dollars in tax and three dollar tip, and I'm just like, just kill me. Why are we hitting yes. lands? I don't understand. What you've watched the stream before, right? I yeah, I guess that's true. Um, Super Fritz, yeah, they had tater tots at Taco Bell in Utah. <laughs> I don't know if they still do, and they didn't even make like a like tater tot supreme out of it, like. Wasted opportunity. Yeah, so we tried to get cookies last night, uh, and it was like, it, it, it was like basically twelve dollars more than the price of the order after all the fees and everything. And I was like, this is like a sixty percent increase in the price. Like, I'll go into some fat cat at DoorDash. Wow, you're gonna cyclonic rift me when I have three signets in play. Oh, Frankie got you cool i mean if we hit a land we can replay two of them so i'm not like super impressed but like it's still just kind of obnoxious land please oh thank you oh Merbler, where are you from in canada all right we did it look look we literally we fixed two-thirds of the damage that was done boom take that asteroid <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Your opponent's an asteroid. Regular Thunder Bay. I drove through there once. <laughs> We're like real northern Ontario. Dope. I actually grew up in Kingston, Ontario. Oh, they just keep on killing my things. Oh snap, indeed. So the Taco Bells in Canada had the Fry Supreme, like, from when I was a kid. And that thing was the best. You get, like, <laughs> two Taco Supremes and a Fry Supreme combo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they knew what they knew what was up. Did they? Oh, they did. Did they? Yes. Did they? Yes. <laughs> Real Canadians say about. Canadians? I don't know what to do here. Like, we can play Signet, we can play Solemn. I think we just play Solemn, actually. It just gives us a land they can't actually kill, and, like, we have a blocker. We have to draw another card. I gotta be honest with you, I haven't been watching the magic. Oh, I know, I know. I've actually been well aware of that fact. 
I, I'm here but that's fine. As long as you're having a good time, I'm totally fine with it. Like, as long as you're not like... Thank you. Don't forget about my sit, buddy. How how dare you? How dare you even suggest that? Hold on, close that. Pop so, on, bring it over. when I, like, talk with, like... Or if I go... When I go back to Canada sometimes to, like, hang out with my siblings or whatever, sometimes when I come back, I have much more of a Canadian accent than normal. Oh, is that right, mate? Like that? That's, sound... that's not a Canadian accent. Like you even know Canadian accents. <laughs> Typical. Um... Canada. Alright, so we're going to have to get something else that lets us play this Niv Mizzy boy. Alright, then. Alright, alright, mate. <clears throat> we need a red. We need to take two more from this. Oh, God, that's gross. I don't think I like that. So salty, ninety. Is so salty, ninety like more salty than so salty, eighty nine? It's Michael Caine. <laughs> oh man, because our red and blue are attached, which is kind of obnoxious. Yeah. So obnoxious. Although I guess we could have just got a regular land and then played the signet and then played Niv Mizzet Reborn. I feel like we just need to get Niv Mizzet into play. And then the whole purpose of the deck will have been fulfilled. I agree with you. And they're like, no matter whether we win or lose or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, the Sakura mic thing seems to be catching on. <laughs> I feel like people are saying it independently as well, which is pretty funny. Sakura, Mike. Sahili doesn't do anything, right? Neither does Teferi here, right? Oh, God. Uh, you could, like, make a copy of Solemn. Get you a card. That's not terror. I want. I want life, though. I really need some life. Mm. Oh God. One, two. Oh, we can't actually, because blue and red are. Oh, well, I guess we can. We can go signet. Yeah. Oh, I think we're just dead though. They attack with this and these two, and then we're just dead. Yeah, this match was rough because like we just didn't hit our our lands as per usual. RBG Bad, are you watching some sort of nature documentary? Yeah, we're just going to concede here. Actually, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Activate. I don't have the land for that, I don't think, so. Let's get a red. Maybe he'll block with his Charming Prince. That'd be so good. I'd be so all about that. They did not. And it exiles the token, so it doesn't get to draw. Oh, they're just going to kill my Solemn at the end of the turn? Sure, they're just going to lightning helix my face, so it doesn't matter anyway. <sighs> like, just do it. Like, I hate... Oh, God, the slow rolls are so exhausting. I have one mana. Just just lightning helix me, man. <coughs> Katie, is the S in Roger S for sauce? Roger sauce? <laughs> if it is, you shouldn't have a problem. He's your sauce man. God, I hope so. Hey, Roger Sauce here. What's uh, what's your request? Yeah, hey, I just want to see if you can give me some extra sauce. What uh, what like sort of sketchy delivery guy is this? Is he like the trench coat kind or like the the van in the parking lot kind? Yeah, RPG Badger. Sephora is the guy from Final Fantasy VII. Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> oh man see that's funny <laughs> uh, see that's funny wait what was the name of that delivery guy that came the one time and gave you that cake I don't know dude I, I remember, remember he had it was, a weird name yeah I remember it was controversial it was like Mike but not or something oh yeah it was like yeah it was some weird yeah, it was some weird variation of Mike, I think. Badger, you are always pretty funny, man. I'm not gonna... Ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, what are we taking here? Steam Vents and Overgrown again? I like Steam Vents Overgrown. <laughs> so, Badger, where did you live in Tokyo? Or Japan, I guess. I don't know whether or not you lived in Tokyo. <laughs> uh, I lived in Tokyo. That's where. Got him. Ooh, Takashi Miike delivered you a cake? Dude, that guy's insane. 
Ichi the killer. Oh yeah, for a second I was like, is that some kind of, is that some, <clears throat> is that some kind of uh, Food Network guy? And then I was like, oh wait, I know who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think of the director because it was because you guys mentioned cake, and I was like, what? Sapporo was pretty cool. I went, I uh, I stayed there one time. Um, I was actually taking like a train up Did to you say like Sephora. The... Yeah, Sephora. Yeah, Sephora's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was taking it. Yeah, I was taking a train up to the top part of Japan, and I hey. got to Sapporo, and I like had a huge headache, and I was like, screw this, I'm not riding any more trains. So I ended up just staying uh, in Sapporo for like four or five days. Uh, it was pretty fun. Smack Mike in the head, Kerwit. Did I, do beer. I just get left on red? Sauceless? <laughs> Sauceless in Seattle. You're not even in Seattle, you liar. Dang it. Did you not bring you any sauce? Katie just went and looked at her car and she was like, oh, wait, I don't want to move the snow. I'm just going to I'm just gonna go door dash it nevertheless. I feel like if they brought you nuggets <laughs> and they didn't bring you any sauce, that that's like... No, I don't think he's there yet. I think she just he just hasn't responded to her. Okay, that, that's good because that would be a war crime. A war crime? Yeah. Oh dang. He'd be up in the Hague. This is this is wild. Osaka's pretty cool too. Um, I have been down there a couple times. I'm not a fan of takoyaki, so like I feel like one of the big like Osaka things is not my jam. But let's get a Holly a Hollywood fountain. Nimbus at one time off the top. <clears throat> yeah, spaghetti toucher. I'm not like a, I hate seafood. Spaghetti. 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 <clears throat> so we can either <clears throat> play Golos here and lose our Teferi, or we can play Deafening Clarion. Deafening Clarion actually seems pretty fine here. Red, white, and this Javi. Mike B. Spaghetti. I mean, I am here, so it'll have to be a virtual slap. Michael B. Give him a give him a good slapperino. I feel like Mike B should stop by for like a cameo. I like when people say right in the McNuggets, it makes me laugh. What does that mean? Who's right saying in the this? I got yeah, I got him right in the McNuggets. Well, we'll have to say that. But the next time you kill something, I'll be like right in the McNuggets. And I don't. I have Lisa Loeb song stuck in my head. How does that make you, you feel? You've been you've been listening to Lisa Loeb. I fucking love Lisa Loeb, dude. Then that seems reasonable that you would have her song stuck in your head. <laughs> She's wonderful, man. Dude, Okonomiyaki is pretty good. Uh, I really want to try like the like the Kobe style Okonomiyaki that has like the noodles in it. I've never been to Hiroshima. I need to get down there. One time I went to um, oh, what the hell's the name of that place? <laughs> Katie sent me a message and she's like, Roger's trying. And he's like, I will try. He, he like in the text chat, she's like, is it possible to one ranch in Buffalo? There was no way to order it. And he's like, I will try. I will do my best. He's the hero we need. Can you imagine if he gets there and he's like, yeah, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't make it happen. <laughs> like in what world is that the, the outcome, you know? Well, if we hit a land, we can start uh, activating Golos. Hold on, Katie. I got you. But I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> he sent a message, he's like, got the sauce. <laughs> what a damn hero. What an absolute, what an absolute, just a, just a hero. I, yeah, we're right. definitely playing Dream Trawler, my dude. Katie, here, here you go, just dip it in here. I don't even know what's happening right now. When it's time. <laughs> I'll hold the sauce up to the screen. You dip. That's wild. You know, I also you have some extra in your fridge. I have some honey mustard too. So we all got some sauces for you here. So I got some honey mustard. Kerwitz got some, some barbecue, barbecue. I got sweet and sour too. Unfortunately, Katie likes one, one, uh, Buffalo sauce and one ranch. So she basically likes turning her cheeseburgers into Buffalo chicken sandwiches. So. You should make mini buffalo chicken sandwiches with your nuggets. Get tiny buns and put the nugget in the middle. 
Dude, I don't like McDonald's as a corporation, but I've really been craving some McNuggets recently, and it's been... Dude, McNuggets are good. I know. They really are. They have, like, the... They just have, like, the breading and the everything. It's Oh, they're going to Cyclonic Rift us. <sighs> I was, like, ordering from McDonald's the other day, and, like, I ordered, like, a cheeseburger or something. Cheeseburger. And, and, like, One, two, three, four, four, six, it's like, hey, you should add some stuff onto your order. How about 40 chicken nuggets? Wow, that's quite a... That's quite a, a request there. Yeah. I don't know what to do here. Do we play Teferi plus uh, Kitchen Finks, which makes our next turn possibly stronger? I guess we can play Dream Trawler because they do have Colonnade here. Did we get uh, Niv Mizzet into play yet? No. All right. Old Dude. Dreamy Boy. Trollin. I mean, it's our seven cards versus their six cards, and we got a Dream Trawler. They also have 10 mana to our 7 mana. Sure, I don't care about Wait, that. Wait, Mike B, where did you get Chick-fil-A sauce? Where did you get Chick-fil-A sauce? Monk HB. Chick-fil-A is delicious, but I haven't been to Chick-fil-A in fucking years, dude. So, they opened a Chick-fil-A in Bellevue. And, like... Right oh yeah, I know. Opened it like the freaking line was like all the way onto the. Yeah, freeway. dude, I was like, there. I, I was living there when it opened, and like so crazy. when you right when you get off the interstate, like you would be backed up because that's where the Chick Fil A was. Yeah, like right onto the freeway. Yeah, it's wild. I don't even think it's that good. Like, but it was like that okay. like a year after it opened. It was still like that. You would yeah. still turn onto that street, and it would be like you would have to like there would be a cop directing traffic into the Chick Fil A, dude. Yeah, it was... I don't understand. <clears throat> Chick-fil-A like, be it's confusing. A, it's good, but, like, not that good. Because I don't know... I, need, I just want to land here. <clears throat> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Beautiful. Oh, right in the nuggets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be right in the McNuggets, right? Right in the McNuggets, buddy. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. We could go Teferi Golos, but then they're just going to kill the Teferi with the Colonnade. Yeah, Katie, give him the yogurt as a tip. The smallest dollar bill I can find. Can't you tip on the app? Like, I thought, I, I've never tipped in, in real life in ages now. Yeah, you can totally tip on the app. Yeah, what's that about? What are you trying to do here? Um, One, two, three, four, five. And then we still have mana. I guess we just play Kitchen Finks Golos. You don't pre-tip and then also post-tip. That's too many tips, man. Let's get a colonnade this time and then we can go... Can you go back and, like, update the tip? Might be going to Chick-fil-A. And I don't... You went to Chick-fil-A today, you son of a... Wow. Yeah, RPG Badger, the tipping, like, in the U.S. just... Whack. That was one of the things I missed about Japan was not having to like tip all the this, time. This tipping is is such an it, tipping is literally just a, a system that lets the employers of these these people pay less. Like it's so yeah. it's so ridiculous that it still exists to me. Yeah, it's literally just one more American thing that's like, how can we make corporations pay even less? It's so insane. My favorite <laughs> thing was when like I think it was DoorDash or whatever was basically like subtracting the tip from their pay. Yeah, like, if you get $4 in tip, they'd be like, well, we're going to have to take $4 out. And you're like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, Kerwick, can you see me how... Can you see my fog? Yo, you have fog? Yeah, how I'm out of focus. Oh, no. Like, the actual, like, view of the, the stream is, like, super tiny, so I can see chat more. Okay, sure. That's fine, I guess. Whatever, man. We have a lot of options here. I just want to make sure we don't run out of time because we have a lot less time I guess we'll just attack we can also just start activating Golos but I'm sure we're going to hit lands oh yeah right in the nuggets oh uh, it's right in the McNuggets buddy <sighs> god he just can't keep getting it right alright so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards oh we can just kill them with fight with fire can't we just kill your opponent dead that sounds like a raid commercial Raid! RPG Badger, people in the US just do what everyone <laughs> Got him. 
<coughs> Activate Golos? No, I'll just win the game. I'm a bigger fan of winning the game. I like Activate Goals. That sounds good. It's like a, it's like the title of a self-help book. Hey, man, you should activate your goals. Activate your goals. We could do one of those, like, uh, self-help seminar things, and you could be up on the, the, uh, the stage just yelling at people, activate your goals. And there'd be, like, people in this, like, arena, like, crying. And then Frank would get a lot of money. Katie's like, I can't find a dollar. Do I give him yogurt, a banana? <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. Oh, my love. Yeah, do you, do you see the nonsense that tipping produces? <clears throat> what, what, what's our record here? I haven't been watching. Um, <clears throat> uh, we are, it's, we're in the, we're one, one, it's one, one right now. Okay. And I don't know, and I don't care. Oh, under tuna, you don't want to give him the whole hand sanitizer. Just give him a pump. Yeah, we're just trying to give him a small tip, not a fucking hundred dollar bonus, man. Yeah. Gluten free brownies? These are the options. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, gluten free brownies? Well why, yeah, why wouldn't she? Isn't that just chocolate? <laughs> Kermit, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I don't know if we play looter here or if we if we crock some of them, right? I think we're just playing looter. Why would you badger? That is the phrase I'm going with. One pump. Just give him the one pump. Sure. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. One pump. One beer. <laughs> wow, they got they manatize the dust. Mike B, how's work going? Oh, you know. So he's he's like taking calls for like a like a like a phone line or something. Like a like a phone line. Oh, I ask him. I don't even know. What am I, Mike B's line? dad? You might be. You, I might be. You're Mike B. Wow, this is wild. This has been a wild ride. I was not prepared. I, I'm kind of interested in how <laughs> we can like call the Mike B hotline. Katie apparently gave him a gluten free brownie. I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know if I'd trust food from random people I DoorDash to. Okay, Badger. I'll just go with Badger. Unless a different Badger shows up. Okay, they're just cycling it cast out. Sure. Like, Action Adventure Badger? Or... Strategy Badger? Let's get our third Signet so we can go Croxa Signet land and then be well positioned for Dramoka's command. Badgers is also good. Enchantment. Katie, how did he feel about receiving a brownie? If I ever will see you again. Okay, so if JFK Badger shows up, then we'll have to switch. I think he was appreciative, but would have been more appreciative of them with money. Katie, I don't know if I would. I don't know if you heard me, but I don't know if, if I if I was a DoorDash, if I would accept food from people. But like a gluten-free brownie, though. Do you think there's more of an uh, an innocence or a purity to a gluten-free brownie? Where you're like, sure. anyone eating gluten-free brownies would not poison me. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know anything about that. Uh, what do I? What land do I get here? We only have one green. We have one red. Let's get a red. Badger knows what's up. Does he? He does. Does he know? Yes. Oh, I didn't tell him it was gluten free. I mean, I just told him I couldn't find a dollar, but he would. Have, but would love to offer a brownie for his sauce service. He said, "Sure, that sounds great." Oh wow. Wait till he finds out it's gluten free. Got him. He'll be in his car, and he, like, takes a bite, and he'll be like, Katie. Oh. One specificity by RDJ Badger. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I feel like I'm the only one playing magic in this in this stream right now. Only one uh, concerned with the magic that's happening. It's magical. 
Uh oh, it's me. Golos. Yeah, that's a solid draw. I like Golos's cape. One, two, three. Dollar. We have six mana. Let's make sure we get all the things. One, two, three, four, five. They're gonna make a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. It might be he basically does data entry for billing, so stuff like past due bills as the transfer balance is connected notices it. I fix those by finding missing bills or paying or paying them when needed and a lot of other busy data entry. I do occasionally call out providers by missing documents or online via email or not too much calling. Can we like can we call you, Mike B? Is there like a a hotline we can call? Just give him a call. One eight hundred. Frank, I hate to break it to you. I'm never interested in the magic. Just here for the god damn. It's getting brutal, guys. Why don't I just have a, a, a let's a just chatting channel? Today on Mike B and Frank. I like I like that you stopped there, as if like the name of the show was just called Mike B by himself. Today on Mike <laughs> B, that's just the name of the show. Michael Barbably Chad. Don't be upsetty. Have some spaghetti. Spaghetti is delicious. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Are they just? Are they gonna? Are they gonna? Cyclonic rift us three times, in in one match. Yeah, that's fine. They have no mana left. They have no cards in hand. They're just dead. I, right? I really hope Italy doesn't die, so spaghetti stays. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. But you know what? They were doing too much spaghetti touching, so they got that coronavirus. So here's the question. We can play like face fetters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or we can just activate Golos. Is he some sort of hit man? Activate the asset. Oh, I guess we can just fight with fire this Bane Slayer Angel, too. All of these are options. Yeah, do the fight with fire. You, you think so? Even though we killed him with it last game? I don't know. What do I look like? Katie got three of each sauce. She's at, she's over the moon right now. So here's what you got to make sure that you like uh, stash them sauces for next time. I'm pretty sure I just want to Golos. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Do it. Like, are we here to not Golos? Golos! I mean, what's the worst that happens? They get a hit off of off of us Bane Slayer, like. Okay. Do we just get to play these? Do we can play both? No, okay, we played one. <clears throat> that's fine. Not the most impressive, but that's okay. <clears throat> oh man, we're not using it for the Gatums. God, I really hope we can still get something. I think we still got a swamp with this uh with this bloodstain mire. Mike B, I suggest you keep that salami for yourself. Katie said, "Show the stream." All right, guys. Here's what I'm showing you. This is this is Katie's bounty from her from her McDonald's delivery. Apparently, Roger Sauce really came through. Oh man, that Roger knows what's up. He does. He really does. If we end up just dying to Bane Slayer because we took a turn off to, I'm gonna be real sad. I'm Katie, gonna... do you do you keep your excess sauces in a sauce drawer in your fridge? I do. So do I. I just keep them on my desk, actually, because I don't really have the fridge space currently in my in my living situation. No, yeah, that's too bad. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Gotta have that sauce drawer. <clears throat> if not, oh, it's dead! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy, we're doing. Are we it. doing it? Are oh, we doing it? Oh, we're doing it. Uh, let's get a green here. Let's get a black here. Oh, everyone, this is what we and came for. Let's get a red. You know who's reborn? Yeah, boy. Oh, we just draw draw five. Oh, casual draw five. <clears throat> Let's kill this Bane Slayer. I mean, Katie, they are technically room temperature, but... If you I want mean, to trade with this guy, that's fine. Let's be real. Oh, they didn't want to activate their shambling vent. We do have to discard a card, man. I guess we'll just discard Misty Rainforest. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that. Wow, Niv Mizzet draws one, two, three, four, five cards. That's f fucking fantastic. Dude, this is what we came for. <laughs> this is why we do it, guys. This is why we live the dream. Are we at a point where we can almost explosion expansion their whole their whole face? Oh, look. Close Manny, who are you gonna dunk on? See now I want McDonald's. Yeah, same, and I really just blame Katie. 
Katie, what did you do to your keyboard? Her keyboard? It looks like you spilled oh, ink on it. it. Her keyboard? She sent like a picture. Oh, in the chat? Hold on, let me check. Oh no, she has a she has a, a cover on it. <laughs> oh. It looks like the cover has ink spilled on it. Well, yeah, that's that's artistic. Oh, God, she's right. really she's really living her best life over there. <clears throat> All right, so like, we're, we're on the keys. In case you guys weren't paying attention, Kerwood included, we just won that match. So, oh sweet, <clears throat> we're already on our way to a trophy. Yeah, we're we're halfway there. Well, you know, thirty three percent of the way there, I guess. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. <clears throat> Take my hand. <laughs> this is what you guys are here for, right? The the singing, the Kerwin and Frank duet. We'll make it, I swear. You get a duck on Bon Jovi. Great job on the match, too. Yeah, Katie, you can tell Katie's in a much better mood now that she has her McDonald's with her with her little saucies. You could the whole the whole mood changed. Chicken Quazillas. Interesting. What does the Zilla part, aside from it being like a Godzilla reference, like what are you putting on there that makes it a Zilla? The rat train's halfway there. Whoa, rat train on a prayer. You gonna mutate that uh, quesadilla? <laughs> Slap the PB and J under it. What's going on right now? I don't even know what's happening. He's gonna mutate his quesadilla by sticking a uh, PB and J under it. Who is? Uh, puppy dogs. What uh, what what abilities does your quesadilla get from uh, adding a PB and J? All of them. I kind of want to face fetters this. I think I'm going to. Take my Our hand. Our opponents in chat. Oh, that's good. <coughs> that. Oh, asteroid. Oh, I thought this current opponent was in chat. I was like, oh, cool. It's going to be one of those days. Asteroid. Oh, good up? games, man. Asteroid. Good games. Asteroid, sorry it took me so long. I'm actually obviously streaming with uh, my buddy Kerwit through Skype. And uh, he's been just interacting with the chat the whole time. So there's been a lot going on. I'm out of focus again, so that's cool. Let me see if I can just do a finger and I'll pull it back to my face. All right, that worked. Did nice. you try that uh, Logitech Creative app? Creative? Can... Yeah, so there's like, there's like, I can't remember what it's called exactly, but there's like a Logitech app that like lets you make like a a fake channel that your computer will see or not fake camera that your computer will see. And then you can control all the Logitech settings on it. That seems interesting. And one of them is autofocus. <laughs> He's lost at his girlfriend's sauce. Wow. <clears throat> um, all right. Katie so... is pretty saucy. <clears throat> it's not inaccurate. Uh, one, two, three, what up, Dan's? four. Oh man. The gang is literally all here. What are you talking about the hair? My hair always looks like this. Yeah, this is how it looked the whole time we went to Disney. I don't understand yeah. the problem. God, dude, I want to go back to Disney so fucking bad. We could break in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dan, where's Elk Tears? <clears throat> Man, we got Mike, Kerwit, Katie... And Dan's in this chat. Like the only, literally the only person missing from that trip is Elk Tears. Am I here for real? I'm somewhere for real. Uh, give me another island. You can just keep having these islands. If I'm actually real. Dude, I keep going out of focus. It's I don't even know what it's other what it's focusing on that isn't me. Yeah, I bet the lines at Disney are super short right now. Blinking Karn. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I imagine they're extremely short. <clears throat> what up, elk? I feel like we need more Simpsons reference for elk tears. Some boo-earns, maybe? Where's elk tears? <laughs> That's good Poochie references. Yeah, Disney's closed. Yeah, that Simpsons <laughs> ride is kind of sketchy. It made me feel a little sick, too. Yeah, do you remember that time I was I almost went on the Simpsons ride, and then at the last minute I was like, no, nah, I can't, I'm getting out of it. You know, something feels sketchy. <clears throat> And then I bailed at the last minute. And then, like, when you guys got off, you were like, yeah, this is rough. And I was like, oh, yeah, I made the right choice. Yeah, Alec Tears, I drove to uh, Logan. <laughs> they gave me, like, uh, two extra days off at work, and I was like... Is Kerwin there? Hey, look, they have the Feldar Guardian, and I have the Sealyrai. Together, with our powers combined... Twenty-four, six, seven. Hey Frank, he's yes. totally buying it. It's well, it's it's true though. I don't know what what you're talking about. I'll put you on top for sure. At L tears, we totally figured that like spreading the virus was probably better for humanity than like <clears throat> making sure that like you know if make, making sure people didn't miss this content. Yeah, yeah, we just had to make a choice. <laughs> look, I can even touch him. Look, I can touch his whole face like this. Look at this. Would you look? Look at him. Uh, sure. I'm still touching it. I'm still. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, cool. Kiki Jiki and the Felidar Guardian. Just. Yeah, I don't have like a proper mic. I need to get one. Yeah, you definitely, after this one, you can be like, you're, you can tell that it's like, well, this is the, this is the bottleneck here. Yeah. <clears throat> Is this the real life? Is how, this just fantasy? How did you do this? This is a program called Skype, and Kerwin has a green screen, so I can move him around if you'd like. He can make me really tiny. It's true. All these things are accurate. Let's get, let's go down to the Skype window. Kapow. And then I can just bring him up here. Bring him over here. Well, we should do an old school Nintendo stream. Six feet away. Move him upside down. <laughs> All right, hold on. <clears throat> Rotate, flip, or vertical. Put me like right above your head. Vertical. There you go. Do I keep this and just hope we hit a land with three signets? No, like put me no. sideways right above your head, like coming out of the wall. All right, I'll do this. What's wrong with you people? I told you I'm a people person. I do make a good hat. Do, 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 do. You can start using the phrase put a Kerwin on it. Put him in the trash. There is no trash can. Look, guys, this is just this is just Kerwin on my shoulder. He's responsible for all my good and bad decisions. A Kerwin on my shoulder makes me happy. Does it? Makes me happy. Put him on a magic card. I'll be your Sahili Rai. There you go. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> this actually looks hilarious. Oh, man. 
I'm gonna have to go back and watch this after. Well, I'll put you on the Garrig instead. Garuk. There you go. Just Giddles. Me. Now I'm Giddles. Giddles gonna get him. Giddle power. <coughs> oh, put that on the top and then we copy it? Oh, I like that. Uh. Uh. I literally so wonder I where you went for a second. I watched a YouTube video today and I discovered that there was a Power Rangers Ninja Turtles crossover. That's pretty wild. It is pretty wild. That is pretty wild. Turtle power. I knew. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> so, Dan's, what are you and the Elk Man up to today? Oh, what up, Elk Man? <clears throat> little Elky Elk. Oh, what up, little Elk Man? I got nothing here. I'm just repeating things. And Are you going to really counter this? Oh, sure. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. You like how I said it and then I did it? <clears throat> it's a bold oh, it. strategy, Cotton. So the, the, like, the subways and stuff are all still running in uh, New York then. Does Elec Tears have like... Um... Elec Tears? Yeah. Is it Elk? Is that what you said? Elk. Elk? Yeah. What's happening right now? You heard me. What's even going on? Does he have, like, uh, roommates, or is it just him? Uh, he has, like, two or three roommates, I think. Depending on the time of year. Ooh, the Uber XL. Fancy. I don't know what to do here, though. Like, I don't really want to... I guess we could just play Vivian Reed and, like, plus it. Are you going to make some quarantine jams? You mean like preserves? Uh, yes. That sounds good. I wonder if there's some sort of jams DJ. You go to like a farmer's market and like dish out slices of bread with different jams on them. J -j -j jams <clears throat> What can we get with marsh flats? And what, we need a red source. Can we even get a red source here? We can get a mountain. But that's it. So we're DJ Cobbler. Yeah, they need, they need, like, DJs for other types of things. Or, like, a, like a, a fast food uh, sommelier. Oh, that's fancy. Yeah, where you'd, like, sit down and you'd, like, order a chicken sandwich and the guy would be, like... This is a good vintage. Yeah, I think you should have this uh, 1985 sun-kissed orange soda. And you're like, wow, that's a good choice. It's a very good year. Mm. It was a very good year. For sun-kissed orange sodas. I like the idea of a junk food, like, you go to, like, some, like, store, and, like, you just sit down at, a t like, a, like, a couch, and some guy comes out and starts asking you what you like, and then starts suggesting random junk foods and fast foods to you. <laughs> this is literally the most Kermit idea I've ever heard. It would be so great. We can't cast Garrick now, because they got a mana up. How do we get rid of Tarifi? Did I ever tell you about my idea for the shower restaurant? No. No, you did not. You want to hear it? You know, maybe. So basically, you go into the restaurant, and there's, like, rooms that have shower stalls in them. Oh, Lord. Let's and hope, you go in. It. I just want to hit Nimbus it. <clears throat> That's actually not bad. All right, I'm, listen I'm still listening. And then, like, kind of. you would order your food, and they would slide it in a tray under, like, the door or something. And then you would, you would take a shower while eating it. In the Wait, shower? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? Oh. Act like you ain't never eaten a sandwich in the shower before. You know, I never have. Wait, Dan's is leaving? Oh, that's messed up. Is it because of the shower restaurant? It is. You actually pushed my audience too far. No. Yeah, we're just going to play this now. It was a very good year. 
The only problem is I don't know how you would turn it into a food truck. Like, would you have, like, one of those food trucks that roll up and has a shower in the back? Would you need to have special foods that would be okay? Yeah, because that's what I'm wondering. Like, wouldn't your food just get soaked? All right, so back plate, I also had an idea for hot tubs. What about a hot tub movie theater? Where you have, like, tiered seatings, and on each tier there's a bunch of hot tubs. Oh, they just I mean, gave me an opening. You get in your hot tub, and then you watch the movie. <coughs> Yeah, actually, you can hit this for two. This is actually going to be a great turn. We can play Garrick, kill Ral, kill Teferi. Oh, we can copy Glenelendra here if we wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hot dog time machine? How does a hot dog time machine work? I also oh. like the idea of a masseuse movie theater where you like lay down on like a table and they like tilt it up slightly so you can see the movie screen and then they give you a massage. <coughs> Whilst watching the movie. Good lord, man. Puppy dog eyes is the uh, the idea, man. Old woman. I appreciate your gender neutrality there. It's solid. I do what I can. It's good. It's very good. The idea individual. <laughs> <It's>... <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> We're just going to play this guy. Get another dude on the board. It was a very good year. Okay, so the food truck bath is going to be called Suds and Grubs. I'm down. That's pretty good. Man, we're like, this is coming to life. Yeah, we just need to get some uh, some angel investors on board. All right, now I'm going to block this guy. <sighs> yeah, the Z does make people think it's cool. And we could serve Zima. It feels way edgier, I think. Frank, do you have the coronavirus? Do I? Yeah, you got all that coughing going on. No, I just do it all the time. Like, that's just my, like... Katie, what did you call it? Like, my acid... Like, it's like a mild acid reflux thing. Oh, I got the acid reflux. <laughs> no bueno. It is no bueno. But um, you were, like, in China recently. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't. In, in Wuhan. No, you know, I was not there. Actually, so one of my coworkers, like went to Wuhan, like she's from Wuhan and she went there like right before they got quarantined. So she's been there for like the last month and a half. That sounds not good. No. I think she's fine though. Well, that's probably good. He lays down immediately after sleeping, after sleeping, you mean eating and then coughs in the morning. I've tried to talk him out of it. It doesn't work. <clears throat> Do you like take stuff for your uh, acid reflux? I don't because it's never been like diagnosed acid reflux you know you go to the grocery store and buy that uh Pepsid? Nexium. get you some nexium nexium yeah okay oh, acid reflux is miserable and i found out recently that factor fiction sure um carn in one pile <clears throat> what do you got one two yeah, three four. The cancer one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reflecting pool causes cancer. <laughs> I think it's split like this. I can just give them the lands. Like, you can play your Karn. It doesn't really do anything against us here, so. I mean, if you want the Zealous Conscripts as a combo piece, then you're going to have to work for it, my dude. <clears throat> Rand Katie says to switch to a different H2 blocker. I don't even know what. Ranitidine Rana works better for me than Famotidine. <laughs> oh, God. What are we saying right now? Science chat. <laughs> prescription chat. Chat can actually write you a prescription. Okay, so we know they. What do they play? The reflecting pool? Alright, so they know they have two cards. Nexium has a Meprazol in it, I'm pretty sure. Or People are just saying random Meprazole. words. Badger, I agree with you, buddy. They didn't play Karn. That's fascinating. Ask your doctor if Frank's chat is right for you. It won't be. Mm -hmm. It never is. It was a very good year for Karn. Katie, you've been feeding the members all the dogs? 
That's how she do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every day. You know Every how I day. do. The dogs just be coming up to her house to get their daily omeprazole. What did they take? Vizier of many things? Sure. Okay, I'm all in. Vizier of many omeprazoles. <laughs> That's what they call me. Down uh-huh. at the old omeprazole factory. We're gonna just, here, here's Niv Mizzet, ready? Because we, we just gone through too many. Luteral core, you piece of junk. Um, We can actually lose this guy. I don't think we're doing that. We're just going to make a beast here. It was a very good... Why do I have... It was a very good year stuck in my head. <clears throat> uh, We were talking about Simpson stuff. Maybe that we did it. Yeah, but did someone sing this Frank Sinatra song and like that's how it got stuck in my head? Or... I don't know. I didn't sing. Weird. Probably. How have we not won yet? Well... Look at this beast. <laughs> it's one of the new ones. <laughs> oh, they discarded Karn. Super Fritz, you at the sandwich factory today? Or is it the sandwich mine? So like uh, in the sandwich mines, are you are you mining the individual pieces of sandwich? Or are you like who mining isn't? the whole sandwiches? Who isn't mining that? Why did they discard Karn? They have five cars. I can't I'm trying to figure out like what their plan is here. And if you're mining whole sandwiches, are there like, are there like veins of like? <sighs> Seems good. Like ham sandwiches here, and then you you mine over there, and there's like, chicken salad. Got meatballs in your basement. <laughs> Jesus, what's even happening in this stream? <laughs> Rich sandwich deposit. <clears throat> You have to dig outside for the veins of mayonnaise? That sounds actually disgusting when you say it like that. Now, see, I think mayonnaise is more like oil. Like, you have to pump it. I just want to draw my card. I don't know what the hold up here is. Get that mayo geyser. Guys, can we talk about magic? Oh, it'll never work. I just want to draw. Why did they discard card? I'm trying to figure out why they discarded Karn. You never seen that mayo geyser they got over there, Yellowstone? That sounds disgusting. It erupts every hour. <laughs> no, no, just make them stop. Make them all stop. <clears throat> Badger, how's Australia? That's where you're at, right? Mayo geyser reminds me of apps. Yes, it reminds me of like pus. Ew. I'm imagining the sound of a mayo geyser. No, don't do that. <laughs> no. <I hate> that. <coughs> What's the hold up here? I just want to draw my card. Badger, are you from Australia? In other words. I don't like it, but a lot of people do. <clears throat> Shake my hand. Oh, good. They let me draw. That was nice of them. Um, one, two, three. Oh, we're still in combat because they took forever. All right, let's just play Looty Boy. Let's make sure we activated all three of these. Back in the day when Lewis and Clark were uh, discovering the frontier. Got stuck in the first mayo geyser. Like, imagine if you were just walking and it, like, erupted under you and you didn't know it was there. A mayonnaise geyser? Yeah. Why are you like this? <sighs> I got problems, Frank. Buddy? Thank you. You ain't kidding. Oh, that's an interesting component. Mm, it is a good source of fat while exploring the new frontier. <clears throat> so Zealous is in the graveyard. That's interesting. So, like, with the mayo geyser, is there just, like, a bunch of chickens underground, like, laying <laughs> a bunch of eggs? Jesus Christ. And then the heat kind of, like, cooks the eggs, and then they get, like, crunched up? Yeah, and the natural vinegar in the ground. 
Yeah. Is uh, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. You know about the mayonnaise guys, there, dude. Okay. I took science class. Everybody knows how the mayonnaise mayonnaise guys works. Taking one of those geology classes. Get that dinosaur mayo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't do both, unfortunately, which is a sad, sad state. I wonder if they're just going to untap and kill us. That's my question. Let's play Teferi because of that. Because <clears throat> then, if they are going to do that. Oh, it's unprocessed liquid magma mayo. Well, okay, they're not. Good to know. So it's it's mayonnaise while it's in the ground, and then once it erupts, then it's Miracle Whip. Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> what is our opponent's goal? I don't know. They had Kiki Jiki and like uh, Felidar Guardian in game one. One, two, three, four. One. They're one man away from doing that, so they might just be able to still kill us if they just have those two things. You had Spell Pierce and Mass Manipulation? <laughs> don't talk Was about my nips, buddy. Was it for more than one? There's the land. What is the special ingredient in Miracle Whip? That's where they play Guardian, and they kill us immediately. I think it's sweet and low. Sugar? Ranch dressing. <laughs> oh, okay. Sugar and, and love. There's no love in Miracle cool. Whip. Never don't have it. I've been to the Miracle Whip factory. There's no love. You think it's the miracle, but it's the whip? Oh, they'd be whipping stuff up in there. So, on Dramp Tuna, I probably agree with you, but uh, Bill Oakley eats mil Miracle Whip, so... Who? Oh. Bill Oakley? Yeah. <clears throat> gotcha. And let me tell you, Bill Oakley knows... Oh, they got that Kiki Jiggy? Yeah, man. <clears throat> they never don't have that. No. Ah, uh, there goes our trophy. Yeah, despite having 12 lands and 4 planeswalkers in play, all you need is 2 cards that can't interact with it. You lost to a guy who was born in 2018? <laughs> <laughs> He's like 2 years old. I mean, that's assuming his birthday passed. He could be 1. You Merle. Oh, filthy hey, flapjack. Mayo Geyser was my nickname in high school. That sounds disgusting. Sounds like you had a good high school. Jesus Christ. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need Jesus. Sounds hot. Y'all need to y'all need to y'all need to stop forsaking the Lord's name, you hear? <clears throat> who does yeah, name who their does kid? Name Jake. Wow. Damn it. Damn it. Merle. Who names their kid Merle ever? Uh, the Haggard family. Merle Haggard. There you go. You know. You know what's up. I don't think their family named him Merle. I think he chose that name. Oh, you think that's like a... That's his, like, stage name? It's like... I don't know John. the... Validity. Yeah, I don't know no. the, the facts of any, any Merle. I don't know the... Any... Oh, fuck. I'm still hoping for a white or a blue here so I could cast this Tarifi, but... Alas... It was not meant to be. All right, we need some more business ideas up in chat. What'd yes, the, the brother in, in Walking Dead in season one was Merle. Did he die? No, yeah, yeah, eventually. He was played by Michael Rooker, who is, who's awesome. <clears throat> Merle Ronald Haggard. Wow, that's a... I'm just going to play... I'm just going to play our, our bird. Get him, bird. Land, please. Never a land nor a card we can cast. This is my life when playing magic. Never hit the lands that I need to win. Singer songwriter Frank Lepore. All right, chat, come on. We need business ideas.
could be like one of those like uh, cheesy uh, movies where like we have a huge bill to pay on the Frank Laporte channel, and we need to start a business to make enough money to save Frank Laporte. <laughs> Dedicated mail delivery. Would it be like um, like a truck with like a... Merle was my other nickname. Wow. Harvest the mail geysers. Well, missed two land drops, so that's cool. Yeah, that's a good question. How would you harvest the mayo geyser? Is this going to be like some sort of like uh, some jug? You go next to the mayo geyser and the mayo falls into the jug? Or are you going to put like a hose over it? And like just I feel like, like I can't even keep up with the chat. Like you guys are just on a different level right now with the mayo geysers and the and the donate. And like I don't even know what's going on. Drill and pump? Drill and pump sounds good. Oh, good. A duplicate. That's a, that's a reasonable magic gathering card that... Land? We train storks to actually deliver no. babies. No, that's where do we source for. the babies from? Yep. So I have zero castable cards in my hand except for Croxa. A car run by horses. Oh, boy. Are the horses in the car, or are we like hooking them up? Are the car? Are the horses driving it? Oh Jesus. Subway equips us all with their own mayo pumps and we are responsible for maintenance. <laughs> that's fair. I think that's a fair position. So we give birth to the babies in a hospital, then we go home, and then the stork brings the baby later. What? How do you know if it's either the same baby? What if it's a different baby? What does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> What is it, man? <laughs> like, uh, what's the problem? I don't understand. It's a baby. <laughs> Still no land, huh? Seems good. Four four turns, no lands. All right. I mean, by the time you figure out it's not your baby, it's too late. <laughs> You're like, oh, what are we going to do? Return it? Uh, I guess we'll just keep it. It's just the fact that you said it's so non... You're like, well, what does it matter? I don't understand how... Like, that's just how babies work. Who cares? You just give it away. <coughs> the stork system is d just to prevent inbreeding. They take the baby at least four towns over. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. It's almost... It's almost... It's almost enough to make me forget I've missed four lands in a row and can't cast any cards in my hand. <sighs> The two of you are my last two brain cells during the last couple of weeks of this. Is that good or bad? What are you studying? Brain cells. Brain cells. <laughs> now you want to show up. Now you want to show up. Okay. I've lost all in, uh, interest in this game. You think you can get deliveries to that harbor? Harbor? The hinterland harbor? <laughs> you can get deliveries anywhere, man. It's a mayo near. <laughs> yeah, it's like for yeah, you know, you get it. I don't have to explain it to you. Steam There's vents like overground every time. Somewhere, or like some sort of boardroom with a bunch of mayo nears in it, and like they're just sitting around thinking up of ideas for mayonnaise. Oh man, this what does it matter clip? Hold on. And then the stork brings the baby later. What? How do you know if it's either the same baby? What if it's a different baby? What does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Just the way you said that. It's like so nonchalant. Like you have no idea how parenting works whatsoever. And you're like, does it really, do people really care what baby they get? Like that seems really, that seems really particular. <clears throat> oh man, that's fucking gold, dude. That is gold. Dude, you don't want to know about it. Believe me, I can get you made by three o'clock with mayonnaise. <laughs> that's a solid, that's a solid reference right there.
I feel like though, like the storks are probably like too like slow. We need more of like an actual process and like a pipeline, like an actual pipe line. Yeah, the babies just come through the tube. <laughs> <laughs> the baby just comes through the tube. He says. And you get like a puppy tube. Oh, that was a good hit. That's what I'm looking for. That's what father likes. If the puppy tube is dripping, there's too many puppies coming okay. out. Okay, wow. This is just... Just glorious. Make sure you close the puppy tube all the way. Got too many puppies in here. What, you think we're made of puppies in here? A peregrine falcon? I feel like peregrine falcons might actually eat your baby. <clears throat> Well, why you think your baby is so special that it gets to be eaten? No one cares about your baby that much. The puppy sink is overflowing. My puppy sink runneth over. <coughs> I'm up to my eyeballs and puppies. Wow. That's a that's an aggressive that's an aggressive bone crusher. Bone crusher is ready. <coughs> oh, I like putting a counter on this and fighting. That sounds pretty cool. Can we do that? Okay, yeah, you gotta water your puppies. Let's do that. I'm just gonna get a basic planes here, so I don't take a million. Uh, target player, put a command on counter. I'll take two, sure. I'll also kill your gentleman. Take two and call me in the morning. Wait, what? Huh? What? Wait, why did it die? Did they have the wither? No. Uh. What the fuck? It had a counter from... Yeah, it had a counter from command. It gets plus one, plus one. So it negates the negative one, negative one, right? And that's just a three-two again. That's... If it wasn't a three-two, it wouldn't be able to kill the Bone Crusher giant. So, like... <laughs> Bug! Uh... What? That's... Uh, yeah, totally get a refund on the draft. Uh, that's not how that works. <clears throat> wow, that was incredible. You know what I really need? Like a a hose of coming into my house. Mayonnaise. Yeah, we get it, man. God, you chicken never... nuggets. Chicken, uh, chicken nugget hose is what you're looking for here. Yes. Yes. State based check for negating tokens. Sometimes it's slower than check for death. I like you say sometimes. It's like it just really depends on the day and the worker. You know, who's ever checking the state based effects? Because Jerokas Command resolves in order. So you put a 1 1 counter on the thing and then it fights. If it did it in the other order, you would fight and then get the counter and then the creature would probably be dead. So cards like this always do the things in the order. So, like, when it's resolving, if, if if I'm fighting this and this is dying, then I have the counter. So, this is just a regular 3-2. So, Super Fritz, Uber for dogs sounds like a great idea. Someone brings their dog over and you play with their dog until you're bored of their dog, and then they take their dog back. That sounds just Uber. Oh, they can just untap this in, in Ultimate next turn. Yeah, that's cool. This is a fun series of games where, like, the second game we got comboed out twice, even though our opponent didn't do anything other than that. And game three, uh, we just didn't hit land drops in, in round one. So, <clears throat> what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this content either way, despite the matches. And, uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe and share me on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Patreon.com slash Frank Cool Stuff Inc. and uh, Manatraders.com. Links and promo codes are all down below. You'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription of Manatraders. And Kerwitt's been here, so that's been sweet. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.